Hi there. I'm Afraim Gopin of 1832 Communications. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the Weekly Send, where I help your nonprofit upgrade your email fundraising and marketing efforts. Today, I'm continuing with my series of videos teaching you best practices for fundraising emails so your year-end campaign will be a success. Today, we're going to look at an email from the Houston Food Bank, and it's not a fundraising email, but it's a gratitude email. We'll start with the subject line, you've made an incredible impact. That subject line, I'm, I'm opening this email. It, it makes me feel good. Hey, I made an impact. That's great. I want to open up and see what I did. So that's a great subject line to use. Who it came from? It came from Houston Food Bank, and that's really important. People's inboxes are overflowing. You want to make sure that who it came from is either some is either the name of the organization or someone at your organization that subscribers will recognize. And therefore, there's more of a chance that they'll open up the email. If it's something they don't recognize, they're going to skip right over it. So the fact that they wrote here, Houston Food Bank is important. I know who they are. I've signed up to get their e-news. I may be a donor, volunteer, something else. I'm going to open up this email. The email itself is, the email address is contact at Houston Food Bank. And the reply to is also contact. I would have liked something more personal here. Contact is way too generic. Email is a one-to-one -one communication between your organization and an individual subscriber. Put a name there so that I know that if I want to reply, I'm replying to somebody specific. Let's take a look at this email. So it opens up with this great image that captures my attention. I'm definitely going to want to read more. And this banner here, thank you for all you do. And they're right away jumping out with the gratitude to start this gratitude email. Dear E, now they only have my first initial, but it's personalized, which is good. So I know that all the other emails they sent people had their first name, and that's great. That's the way it should be. You help provide nutritious food through our programs, food that fuels students' success, nourishes seniors, and provides hope for hardworking families. Right off the bat, I'm feeling good. You help provide. I did that. That's great. You want to share the impact of people. Don't just ask for money in your year-end campaigns. You've got to share the impact. Tell them what was done with their donations, with their support. And then Houston Food Bank continues, here's the impact you made possible from July 2022 to June 2023. And they have four boxes here. It stands out because they've got the icons, the different colored boxes, and they tell you what was provided with the collective donations. 123 million nutritious meals provided for children, families, and seniors. Over four and a half million meals provided to seniors. 814,000 ready-to-eat meals provided through their Kids Cafe program. Over 237,000 bags of nutritious food were provided through our Backpack Buddy program. That's great. Look how much good was done collectively. Donors don't just want to give for themselves, but they also want to be part of a community of do-gooders, right? They want to be part of a winning team, as it were. And so therefore, having these totals here and being able to see those big numbers and, oh, wow, look what I was part of will make the donor feel good. Every time you give to the food bank, you touch the lives of our friends and neighbors by making success like this possible. Thank you for your partnership in helping provide hope to our neighbors. So it's simple, it's clear, it's concise. They're saying thank you to everybody. They're sharing gratitude. They're sharing the impact. And then this ending with gratitude, I like that. It, the e-signature plus it comes from Brian Green, who is the president and CEO of the organization. That also is good. So everything about this email is good. And it is important to note that it, I didn't donate to them, but they shared this email with both donors and non-donors. Why would they why would they do that? Because again, even if I can't give, I still want to know that the organization is doing good out there and helping people in my community. Also, I want to be part of that winning team, that community of do-gooders. Seeing this impact, you know, I couldn't give this year, but maybe next year when I can give, I'm going to give to Houston Food Bank. So although you've already sent a thank you letter for donations to individual donors, whether that's by direct mail, email, telephone, or whatever it is, you should still send out this general gratitude email to everyone so that they know of the impact that's happening. At the bottom here, they have a PS, which there's a two-time two donation. Uh, so you know, you, if you give, it'll be matched. I'm not a fan of this. I'd like gratitude emails to stay a gratitude email and nothing else. Don't throw in asking money when you're saying thank you. Keep the two separate. So I understand it's a matching campaign it's an, and it's important, but I still think leave that PS out 
and just leave that good feeling that I have as a donor, a supporter, a subscriber, whatever it is, leave me with just a good feeling. Hey, we gave, look at the impact we're having on our community. The mobile version is also very good. This image definitely stands out. There's very little in terms of the content and it's well spaced out. These icons and different colored boxes stand out. It's easy for me to skim and scan. This is an excellent mobile version of that email. Three takeaways for today's episode. Number one, make sure it's clear who the email is from so I notice it in my inbox and I there's more of a chance I'll open it up. Number two, share the impact with both donors and non-donors. Tell everyone what's been done collectively in the community. And number three, gratitude emails should be all about gratitude. Don't include a money ask in your gratitude email. Thank you for watching this episode of The Weekly Send. We'll see you next episode.